Hello and welcome to Ms. Ma's Advanced Functions class. This is 8.3, Evaluating Logarithms. So I just wanted to remind you of the two forms that we can use. Um, if we have a to the m is equal to n, this is an exponential form. And uh, we can rewrite it as follows in logarithmic form. Log base a of n is equal to m. So basically the n and the m switch places when I put it into logarithmic form. And we're going to be switching back and forth in order to solve. So looking at the first one, log base 4 of 64. Uh, we do need to let it be equal to something, so I'll just let it be m. So 4 to the m is equal to 64. Four, to, 4 is 2 to the 2, and 64 is 2 to the um, 6, so then we get 2 to the 2m is equal to 2 to the 6. If you have the same base, then you can just let them be equal, I mean the exponents be equal, so 2m is equal to 6, so m is equal to 3. Okay. Of course, if you already knew that 4 to the 3 is 64, then you could have just written uh, four to the three here, and then write m equals three. Um, okay, so moving on, we're going to do the next one, log base two of negative four. Log base two of negative four, let's let that be n. So two to the n is equal to negative four, and we know that a positive number to times itself, no matter how many times, will never be a negative number, so we know there's no solution because it can't be negative. And this is also proved by the graph of log base 2 of x, which looks like this. We know that the x value can never be negative, so the domain is greater than 0, and that's, that's why. Okay. Um, so let's just do these other two. Actually, you might want to pause the video, and I will pause the video, and then I will come back with the solutions. Okay, so welcome back. You can see that I let each of these be equal to a variable and then change to exponential form. And before I got rid of the bases, I had to make sure that the bases are the same. Otherwise, it will be bad form and you will lose marks. So same over here. And just a reminder that if you have a radical, it will be a fractional exponent and then away you go. Okay, so again, making sure that we have the same base here and then we can get rid of the base and just write the answer. Okay. So let's do these last three together. Log base 6 of 1, again, we could um, just change it to exponential form. So we'll write equals m, and so we know 6 to the m is equal to 1. We know that we need to have the same base, so anything to the 0 is equal to 1. So 6 to the 0 is equal to 1, so m is equal to 0, so that's the answer. Okay. For this one, again, we are going to use exponential form, so I'm going to put m there. So 5 to the m is equal to 5 to the x. So 5 to the m, oops. So m is equal to x. So the answer for this is actually x. Log base 5 of 5 to the x is equal to x. And this last one, lo 6 log base 6 of x. Um, now we're actually in exponential form, and we're going to put it into logarithmic form. So I'm going to let this equal m again. So now I'm going to see that log base 6 of m, and I'm switching places the exponent and the m, is going to be log base 6 of x. So again, m is equal to x, because if we have the same log with the same base, we can just get rid of it and uh, let the arguments be equal. So m is equal to x. So again, if we have 6 log base 6 of x, this is actually equal to x. So this actually develops uh, one of the log laws, and we'll be talking about more log laws in the next video. But um, basically, if a of log base a of x, we have the same base here and here, this will always be equal to x. So we can always use this rule if we want to to find some answers. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That is it. Uh, bring any questions you have to class, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching.